All right, let me ask you a few, and then, and then we can... Up. All right. Uh, did your father have a friendship with George Bernard Shaw? Uh, he had correspondence, and so did Mother with Shaw. And I believe, and this may not be true, that he asked Mrs. Shaw to translate uh, the play Damaged Goods, you know the three plays by Breer? Yes. Well, he wanted a translation of Damaged Goods to help him with his venereal disease fight. And I believe she translated it. Hmm, I didn't know that. No. Uh, tell me about Edith Houghton. Was she an influence on your mother? Well, Edith Houghton was mother's sister. That's right. Younger sister. No, no, they, I suppose they influenced each other. And, and let's, I mean, why? let's talk about someone called Emmeline Pankhurst. Now, uh, uh, she well, Pankhurst was a famous character. Emmeline Pankhurst was really the leading woman suffragette in England. Yes. And, and she worked side by side with an Emily... Well, they, they, when Pankhurst used to come over here, she would stay with us. And... Uh, you know, they were on the same boat, so to speak. Yes, yes. And, and your father was really very much ahead of his times in terms of women's rights and... Uh, well, he, yes, he, he believed in women. Yes. <laughs> Which wasn't very... You, you know, wasn't the usual point of view then. Yes, and of course he believes women should go to college and work... Yes, oh yes. ...and work alongside men. Yeah, and one half dozen of another. He w thought. He was, and he even pioneered the use of X-rays as a diagnostic tool. Your father, didn't he? Did he really? Yes. He was a, a, had a lot of original uh, daring. Yes, and he he also launched a urological department as an adjunct to general surgery. Yes, he did, and he was finally he became he was a general surgeon who became a urologist. Yes. Did, did he have an experience regarding syphilis that uh, uh, a young woman came to his office and she... Yeah, that's what started him off. Yeah, and what... He came uh, there with her husband, and they were both fine, and uh, then they got married, and uh, on the wedding, uh, the, the party before the wedding, the sag party... Yes. The men put him to bed with a prostitute. And she had syphilis. For heaven's sakes. And he got syphilis, and he gave it to the woman, and the woman died of it. Hmm. Terrible story. It really got bad going. Yeah, and this was kind of a, a, a breaking point for your father. It was a terrible shock. Yes. Yes. Obviously. Sure. Now, your, your mother formed something called the Equal Franchise League. Yeah, that's, that, that, I guess that's what it meant, you know. 50, 50 men and women. And uh, she worked alongside Emmeline Pankhurst, didn't she? Well, the, 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 the Emmeline Pankhurst was, you know, the leading suffragette in England. Don't you know that? Yeah, I was aware of that, yes. Yeah. And, and so... I mean, you can't say they worked alongside. I mean, they knew each other, obviously, and would work together when Pankhurst was here. Yes. Yes. And, and your mother and father were uh, very instrumental in trying to get women out of prostitution and to... Yes, they didn't approve of that. They did not. No. No. Understandably so. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did the community, Miss Hepburn, react to your mother's activism? They didn't think it much of it. I mean, some of them liked it and some of them snubbed her for it. Yes. And some of them snubbed us. Yeah. And it really didn't seem to bother either of them. They just went ahead no, and... No, no, they didn't pay attention to that. They just did their thing. Yeah. Your parents are extraordinary people. Yes. Okay. Uh, extraordinary. Yeah. Just unbelievable. Yeah. Now, did you ever march in any suffragette... Oh, yes, of course, in all of them. Before I was old enough to protest. <laughs> <laughs> what meant... had a lot of parades, you know, and they could use kids in the parade. There were a lot. And what memories do you have of doing that? Were they... Uh, Nothing. They were just fun. Yes, yes. But y your mother and father were always involved in things. They were tremendous people. Well, they were... You know, they fought for the 
Right. You've got me on a topic that I'm just writing about myself, so. Well, you keep talking. I'm enjoying it. 